Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk back with more Trick Identities questions for you to do. Both of these questions should be pretty easy given the experience that you've had with Trick Identities. So have a go at proving them and come back when you're done. Okay, so let's work on the first one. Um, 3 sine squared x minus 2 cos squared x equals 5 sine x sine squared x. Now, 5 sine squared x minus 2, sorry. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is think about where the cos squared x disappeared to. Okay, now on the right hand side, I don't have cos squared x, I have sine squared x. That means I have to try and get rid of this cos squared x somehow and turn it into sine squared x. And you can see here that the equation that relates cos squared x and sine squared x is this one. Right, so if I rearrange this one, I can change it to 1 minus uh, sine squared x equals cos squared x or theta so therefore what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this where 2 cos squared x is so I'm gonna actually just cut and paste this down the bottom so the left hand side is equal to 3 sine squared x minus 2 cos squared x which equals 3 sine squared x minus 2 bracket cos x we're going to change it to 1 minus sine squared x as I've just explained earlier and now I'm going to expand the bracket on the right hand side so it becomes 3 sine squared x minus 2 plus 2 sine squared x All right expanding the brackets so then I have 3 sine squared x and 2 sine squared x are like terms so I can combine them into 5 sine squared x minus 2 which is the right hand side okay so we've proven it okay next one uh, 2 cos squared x plus 10 squared x equals sec squared x minus sine squared x so you can see here on the left hand side I have tan squared x on the right hand side I don't have tan squared x so what can I turn tan squared x into that is that exists on the right hand side well I have sec squared x equals tan squared theta plus one so I can re um, rearrange this to make it tan squared x equals sec squared x minus 1 and then I've if I substitute this over here then I've turned this into something that exists on the right hand side secant squared x okay again cos squared x is on the left but not on the right so what is the relationship between cos squared x and what's on the right well we've got a sine squared x on the right and I can turn cos squared x into sine squared x into an expression with sine squared x by rearranging this equation which gives you 1 minus cos squared uh, sorry 1 minus sine squared x equals cos squared x so therefore I'm going to do that with the left hand side so let's cut and paste this down the bottom again so the left hand side is equal to cos squared x plus tan squared x and as explained previously cos squared x can be rearranged as y minus sine squared x and tan squared x can be rearranged as uh, sec squared x minus 1 okay so I'm gonna expand all this well I don't need to expand it actually I can just get rid of the bracket so it's 1 minus sine squared x plus sec squared x minus 1 and then this turns into 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so it's just sec squared x minus sine squared x which is equal to the right hand side 
So left hand side equals right hand side proven. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial guys. See you next time.